I'm Christine from Pack Hacker. In this video, we're taking a look at the Not A Bag crossbody, which I've been testing for two weeks. If you find this video helpful, hit subscribe so we can keep bringing you content to help you travel smarter. Let's dive in. The Not A Bag crossbody is made with recycled PET. I'm not gonna try to say it because I can't. It's in the full review, it's a very long word. But suffice it to say, it is a nice, sturdy, and thick fabric. And since it's recycled, that's happy. The webbing strap up here is also made with recycled materials, so we like that. Um, and it is machine washable, which is good because it comes in this cream color way or black and the cream color way, I took it on a road trip and it picked up just some dirt here and there from being in my car and machine washed it, came pretty clean. You do have to scrub some to get some of it out and there are just a few that I just, there are spots that will be there now because I could not get them out. But um, you know, you can just machine wash it and hang it to dry if you need, wanna give it a little refresh. Um, looking around here, we've got the not a bag name on this little webbing tab here, and this is how you open it. Um, and that's it for branding. Then you can see we've got snaps and an unbranded buckle here, which does work really well. Um, and it's how you can, you know, get it around if you wanted to wear it as a waist pack or, you know, just want to undo it for some reason. Um, the the slides here on the side, I did have a problem with one uh, slipped out of place more than the other, so hopefully it's just ours and not yours, um, but it wasn't a big issue. And then we do have some strap keepers here, which is great because you can really cinch this cord up short or make it go longer like that, so it's nice to just not have things flapping around. So I've got the strap all the way pulled out this way because that is how you would use it for a crossbody. Obviously it's nice to have it long so it can go across like that. But you can also wear it as a waist pack if you wanted to shorten it up and then you could just buckle it around your waist like that. Not my favorite look, but if it's how you prefer or want to use it that day, then you know it's 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 easy to do. Um, then also you can change it to have tote bag handles, so you unsnap it, and then you see the handle comes out like that, and you want to make sure it's as long as possible, and then you just grab. Oh, I forgot one thing. You also have to unsnap them from the sides. That's how it doesn't just come out of alignment while you're carrying it, which is nice. And then you just sort of tug, tug, tug. And then you've got two little tote bag handles, which will come in handy more when I show you the full capacity of this bag, which you can see it's gonna get bigger. So I wanted to show it to you here in waste pack mode so you can kind of see what you're dealing with if this is how you prefer to carry it. I preferred to carry it as a crossbody, which you can do just by unbuckling it and extending the straps. And when you do that, when you do wear it as a crossbody, I find it has a very nice uh, casual sort of a vibe, but it can almost look a little purse-like. Um, depending on the color you have. And then also it, this cream one definitely looks more like a tote bag if you extend it out. It is very comfortable to carry even for long periods of time. You wouldn't think that. You would think that the strap is kind of thin, but it doesn't dig in or anything. If you are carrying it over one shoulder, it can slip off. So crossbody is really the way I prefer to use it. I kind of did this a little, a little in the last section, but just to show you exactly how you were to do this, if you want to change it, it to its extended tote bag mode, you just open it up and then you can see that at each corner we have these snaps that just open up 
and then the bag folds down to be doubled and now you've got yourself a tote bag. So that's kind of nice. Not a bag calls out that basically it extends to be laptop size and I did use it for that purpose for a while but I would recommend using putting your laptop in a protective case if you have one because there's no padding or anything in here but you can see you can slide a laptop case in there and then have it still be really good to go now what you can't do at that point is you can't really close it so if it's raining or something you're gonna have to just sort of i don't know finagle it under like that or not use this bag in the rain with your laptop but just something to keep in mind. But then as we look inside here, I'm gonna pull the case back out here so you can see. Um, but as we look inside here at the top, like it's, you know, it's a tote bag, so it's, it's mostly open and you are a little bit limited by how much you can open it because of this webbing and also the fabric. There's no stretch here, so like, that that's as big as you can get. So you can't really shove very large things in there. But um, at the top here, if you can see, there are two pockets and one takes up about two thirds of the width and one it takes up about one third of the width of the bag. So this is where you can, you know, I got a mask, my wallet, my AirPods. I toss those in this pocket and then you can fit a phone in this pocket. I've got a mini, a 13 mini. I think if you had a slightly wider phone, it might be more difficult and you may want to put it in the larger pocket because my mini, you can see here on the outline, it fits like perfectly. So, I mean, it has a case on it and stuff, but still like larger phones may have to go in that other pocket. But on the outside here, we have this really chunky key clip. Um, it works really well. It's just like a really, really beefy, beefy key clip. Um, and then also, so you want to make sure because it's metal, you want to make sure that anything you slide in here, like I said, like with the laptop, put it in a case or something because this could scratch it. Also, so could your keys. So keep that in mind. But then, um, you know, whether it's folded or not, the, the pockets are accessible, so it just provides a little extra organization, which is nice when you just have otherwise basically a tote bag. It's nice to have just that little extra bit. But then you can add more organization yourself. You know, you can fit. I've got that little makeup pouch in there now. You can see down at the bottom there, I've got the laptop sleeve. And then I've got another uh, like little tech kit. And you can fit quite a bit in here. I fit with my computer, I fit a book in here. I fit two rather large hardcover books easily. Um, you know, if you're carrying War and Peace, maybe you only fit one book. Just all depends what you wanna use. It's not the largest bag, but you can, you can carry quite a bit with it, which is really nice. So there you have it, the Not A Bag Crossbody. Thanks for keeping it here at Pack Hacker, your guide to smarter travel, and we'll see you in the next one.